Hey all, I'm going to play a tune called The Fair Wind. Uh, it's a tune that came up in the sessions when I was up in New York uh, about a week and a half ago, and I thought it'd be a good one to work on. It's a three-part reel in G, uh, although when I was looking it up I saw that they do play it in a couple of other keys. I know it in G, so that's what I'm going to play it on. That's what I've, uh, what I've always heard it in. But I'll play it normal, uh, up-tempo with all the ornaments, and kind of come back and break it down here. So here we go with The Fair Wind. So I'll break it down bit by bit here. I'm not going to segment it too much just because it is a bit of a long tune, but I'll play the, the parts kind of, uh, maybe we'll chop it in half and do it that way, and I'll play it kind of slow, hopefully be able to get the melody from that. So here's the A part. It starts in the G. So that's the first half of the A part. Second half is very similar. That's the A part. The B part goes up to the second octave D. And just like the A part, that bit repeats. Now the C part is a little bit different because he uses the C natural, so it's uh, somewhat different from the from the first two there. So we'll try that here. It starts on the, uh, starts on the G, but really on the E there. And again. So hopefully you already have a few ideas where you can throw in some of the ornaments that we've been working on. But I'll play a little bit of how I, how I like to do that on each section. Uh, because it starts on the G and it kind of sits there for a while. On the G I would always do a roll there. Really two rolls I guess because you're sitting on that G for a bit. And then on the A, that's where I kind of like to do that, uh, that, that finger bounce, that double tap. So there again, where you're, if, you see, if you saw the video on that one, you see what I'm doing is... But you got to do it quickly. So that's the A part. Now on the B part, um, because it goes up to the D, uh, I like to do a triplet to start it off. So rather than, I'll do, and then a short roll on the E, or on the A rather. I'm probably going to do a video on the difference between the long and the short rolls. I'll probably do another one with just kind of all the exercises that I do, and I'll work that one in there too, so keep an eye out for that. Um, so that's pretty much all there is really on the B part. That's, that's kind of the only thing that I like to do. And again, I do the, the finger bounce there. That same thing, because you can use that throughout. Now the C part, uh, I do start out with a roll. And on the C natural, uh, I've had people ask me a few times, what, what can you do with the C natural and the C sharp as far as ornaments? You can't really do a roll on there because you don't have the, the uh, cut above that note to play. So what I'll do is just kind of a simple tap and you use this finger to tap. And the second time I do a triple roll. 
So I'm doing the, the top finger, the ring finger, and then the, the tap in the end. So those are a few things that I like to do with that one. It's a cool tune. Ultimately, it's a fairly simple tune, I think, but uh, it gets going up tempo and it's a lot of fun to play. It's, it's a great one to, uh, to hear at a session. So um, if they play it at your session, by all means, break it out. And if not, introduce it because it's a pretty cool tune. So hopefully you like that one with the fair wind. So see you guys in the next one. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.